Hey guys, um, where we left off was right here. We had just finished exporting out all of our images for the site. Uh, so let's go back a folder and copy this folder of images and make a new folder called Site. And this is going to be our website. So I'm just pasting in that folder. Um, now what we're going to want to do is grab a couple of files from the 960 grid system. So we're just going to go into code and we're going to grab these top three files, the CSS folder, the image folder, and the demo.html file. So we're going to copy those three and go back to site and paste those in. Alright, um, so we're going to open up Dreamweaver now and we're going to make a new site so Dreamweaver site and we're going to call this site uh, Portfolio Website and for the location it's in Website Site so open that up okay and over here on the side where it says servers we're going to want to click on that and click this little plus button down here and what this is going to do is this is going to connect to your Ringling web space. So I'll just call this server Ringling. And we want to connect using, using uh, SFTP. And the address is ftp.ringling.edu. Uh, port 22, username is your username and your password. Uh, there we go and you can click test to see if you connect and it connected successfully Okay, uh, and we're going to want to set the root directory to be public underscore html slash and we can save that and save it again and now over here on the side we have uh, our site portfolio website and if we go over here and click on um, remote server and refresh it should connect and there we go um, these are old files that I had here from uh, before when I was testing some stuff out so I'm just gonna get rid of these we're gonna make these you might have some files already in here uh, I know in our English class that we took freshman year we had to make a website so you might have files left over from that uh, or if you did anything in other classes um, or if you've already made a website you might have files in your Ringling web space um, if you choose to um, buy some web space from one in one or GoDaddy you can uh, you know type in under you know your portfolio website the server information for uh, you know one and one or GoDaddy and connect to your web space that way uh, you can also use uh, an FTP program but I'm not going to go into that right now okay so what we're going to do is open up uh, this file, the file that we just copied over, the demo.html file. All right. So this is kind of like uh, a little demo of what the 960 grid system is, uh, and you can use this file uh, to kind of, you know, copy and paste some code if you really want to. It's pretty easy. I don't think we'll have to. Uh, so let's get rid of all of this. So to do that, I'm going to do uh, Control A. Um, oh, by the way, if your view isn't like this, if you don't have uh, your code and your your website, you can go over here and switch between code, split, and design. So I like to work in split because I work back and forth between the two a lot. So uh, I'm just going to click over here in the design view and Control A, delete, Control A, delete, Control A. Just keep keep doing it until everything is gone. Okay. All right, so now we can look at uh, our code over here, and it's it looks a lot simpler and it's a lot less scary. Uh, what we're going to want to do 
Well, actually, let's look at this first. Um, HTML uh, is, structure, is structured using tags uh, to kind of define certain things. Uh, like you have your head tag right here. Uh, inside your head tag, you have uh, you know the title of your website, uh, links to CSS files, uh, JavaScript if you're using any, uh, stuff you don't really see. Uh, then underneath the head tag, you have your body tag. And inside the body tag is all the content for the web page. So right now we have uh, a title for our website right here. It's also up here, uh, which is a little bit easier to use. Um, so we're going to want to give our web page a title. So I'm just going to call this Ben Jones uh, Computer Animator. I think that's a pretty fitting title. All right, and we have some links to CSS files and you can see that uh, all the CSS files that it has listed down here are right up here as well so we can kinda toggle between uh, the CSS files to see what's going on to see all of our CSS code um, don't be scared uh, at all of this stuff we're not gonna be touching any of this this is just um, code that comes with the 960 grid system uh, we're going to be using it in a much simpler way. Uh, we won't be working with any of this, so don't be scared. Okay. So um, what we're going to want to do is delete this uh, CSS file for now. We're going to put in our own CSS file for this one. So you can just delete that little path to that file. And as you can see, uh, all of the, the color just disappeared. Um, I'll show uh, I'll show you what that does here in a second. Um, CSS styles your website. It does um, all all the color, all the spacing, size of objects, and position of things. That's all CSS. So your entire layout is going to be a CSS. Um, I know that there's some tutorials out there that use this thing over here called a table, and tables do work. Um, but you should not use them. Um, they're not meant for the layout of your web page. Uh, they're bad for search engine optimi optimization. Uh, and they're actually a lot harder to use in the long run. Um, so we're going to be using CSS in this tutorial. Uh, so why don't we create a new CSS file? So file new CSS okay uh, and we're gonna save this to our CSS folder and I'm just gonna call it styles.css I'm gonna close out of it and now we're gonna add it to this one so before we had um, I, I think it was demo.css or something like that uh, now we're gonna add that CSS file that we just created so it's inside our CSS folder, so CSS slash uh, styles dot CSS, okay? And now you can see we have another uh, CSS file up here, and that's the one that we just created, okay? Um, you can also see uh, the CSS files over here on the side, and if you click these little um, buttons to expand it, it shows you all of the different rules that you create in CSS. Uh, these are uh, different classes and different IDs. And I'm going to show you the difference between both of those here in a second. Um, and here's our blank CSS file that we just created. It doesn't have any rules yet, uh, but uh, once we start putting all of our content together uh, in the page, we'll start to create some rules uh, specifically for our website. Okay. So, uh, let's save this as index.html. And you want to make sure you call it index.html um, because when someone types in your web address, so benjones.us, uh, this is the, de the default page. Um, if they want to go to the about page, it would be benjones.us slash about.html. But... Um, the index page is the default page 
that shows up when you go to a website. So we're going to name this index.html. Okay, and I'm going to close out of uh, this page right here, demo.html, and let's start to um, define some things. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is create a div, and there's a couple of different ways that we can do uh, that. We can do that. We can go insert. Uh, where is it? Is it layout objects? Yeah, div tag. Okay, and click OK. And there's, uh, there's a div tag, and it shows up here in the code, and it just says div, and then some text, and then another div again uh, with a backslash. And all, all a div is is a container. Um, it's a group. If, you, if you're used to using Maya, it's the same thing as grouping thing. Like it's a group node. Um, so we can also make div tags by just typing them. So div, and then uh, we'll make a closing div tag as well. And uh, Dreamweaver is really cool because it gives you suggestions. And it also does auto-completion. So I just typed out div, and it's expecting me to uh, create another uh, div tag, a closing div tag. So if I do um, less than uh, forward slash, it automatically completes the word div because it's, it's expecting that. So I can type in this is another div tag. Okay, so now I have two div tags and they just have some text in them right now. Uh, so let's let's start to actually use them for something useful. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this div tag for now. I'll make a new one here in a second. Um, and what we're going to want to do first is create um, our 960 grid system. And to do that, we're going to have to create a class. Okay. Well, we, we don't have to create it, we just have to reference it. Okay. So we have div, and uh, before the, the ending, uh, you know, greater than um, bracket, we can do space, and then, like I said before, Dreamweaver is really nice and it'll suggest things for us. So we want class. So I'm just gonna, you know, use the arrow keys and go down to class and click enter. Okay, and then it's giving us more options again, and it's getting all of these options uh, from our CSS files. So we need a container with 12 columns because we're going to be using the 12 column 960 grid system. Okay, so I'm just going to click enter again, and now we ha we've started our 960 grid system. Um, then click over here, it updates, and it doesn't look like we've done much, um, and we really haven't done that much right now. But uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna flesh this out here in a second. So I'm just gonna create some space here in the code. Uh, you can add as many returns as you want. It's not going to affect how it looks. Um, so let's let's create another div tag inside of this one. So div, and then this one's going to be another class, and uh, we need a grid, a, a column essentially that's twelve uh, columns wide. Um, that's because our header, if we look back in Photoshop, uh, is twelve columns wide. So if I open up, I think this one was the last one. We open this up. Uh, we can see that our header is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve columns wide. So we want a div tag that's twelve columns wide as well. Okay. So uh, I don't think it likes that right now. Okay. There we go. So here's a div tag, and it has a class of grid twelve. Okay and it has a closing div tag. Uh, 